Ooh, can I add another? Let me add something else, Dante. It's something else I learned. Uh, the two number one things men and women want in a relationship, right? A man wants to be supported and a woman wants to be chosen. So, like, I've had the same problem with you. I've had women be like, yo, you're choosing comedy over me. Right. But these motherfuckers, in charge, instead, of, instead of actually trying to be a better person, <laughs> they decide right. to be the most unsupported person they can be. So right. it's like we're both not getting what we want from this conversation. Right, <laughs> right, right. Well, you can't, you know, I mean, we said this all the time, that you can't, you can't let your dream, like, you can't let comedy be your side bitch. No. Like, you have, it, the, 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 on the very platform that you both stand on, that has to be clear, and the minute that that what the platform is questioned, you got to be like, okay, then we we can't do this, because because that's the platform that we stand on. And so you you find, and this is, but this is the same way you get women who will get like dirtbag dudes who are just horrible that they bail out of jail and but this and, and he needs me. So <laughs> what is he gonna do? How's he gonna live without me? It gives but, her a purpose in in exactly, somebody's life. Exactly. And sometimes they prefer so that over having no purpose. So that chick was working him, and he was uncomfortable. Dre was uncomfortable. I, I I felt sorry for him because I was going through the same situation <laughs> with my daughter. For like I had gone <laughs> through mine, and she was putting me through the, and it was like, but I, Yo, but, I, I but I understood. I understood. It was like watching varsity and junior varsity at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's why. Well, my 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 her name was Dawn. We called her Dawnifer. Like it was there. Well, you it was you could guess what her name was. <laughs> so, yeah. so it was it was it was, it was interesting. I got but, Andre on that one. Yo, Dante, the, you ever tried this shit? You ever tried this shit? This shit to me, bro. Um, writing down attributes of a good woman. <laughs> I know that sounds. I've never. I've heard people do it. And I always found a corner, yeah, but I've been yeah. con unconsciously doing it in my brain. Just little shit, like, like. Uh, I I remember I was gonna meet a girl at a at a rest. We'll say woman uh, at a restaurant. Yeah. And as I was getting there, she was already there, and she was like, "Do you want any?" She just texted me, "Do you want anything to drink?" And then she texted me the menu. You know what I'm saying? Little shit like that. We're like, this woman constantly is worried, how can I make sure he feels good? First, and then you just go through the Rolodex and how many women would never do some shit like that? Did you fuck? Yeah, or, <laughs> or, or, or what kind of what, what kind of what kind of juice you drink? Yeah, dude. what do you like? Do you drink you drink what do you like? Which you I see you drink this, what do you drink? Or or you go to the crib and then she has your juice there. It's already out there. It's already yeah. out there. You even think about it. Yeah. I didn't even realize at this age, like, oh my God, like, that's what love is. Like, before, I just thought it was getting pushy. I thought it was maybe just calling me. I thought it was noticing me. Now it's like, oh, you've paid attention to who I am, and you want to make my life better. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, Not, uh, I wanted to suck you dry. Not yeah. <laughs> well, it, that, I mean, that goes back to the goes back to the fundamentals of what, what you know, man school, what I said in the beginning is that, it, you know, relationships are really easy understand what your non-negotiables are and then never negotiate them. So when you say, when you say, um, s figure out what these, 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 uh, attributes, of well attributes are, what you also, I think the attributes are great, but the, the non-negotiables are even more important. What is the line that yeah. you will not put up with. So, for instance, uh, like, for instance, go back to Andre. Andre was not going to quit comedy. And so it's, this chick wanted him to quit comedy. She wanted him to put... You never said nothing like that. She no, like, but so, she pushed it. She was, she like, buying, that. like, comedy books and shit for me. And like, right, right, right. She, 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 like, she'll pick up notebooks and shit. Like, she tried in her ways, but it still is, like... I don't know, maybe, maybe... Like, where you going? It was like, but were you leaving? Like, but yeah. But also, I feel like at the time, maybe if I was the type of dude to be like, all right, I'm the tote my girl around everywhere with me type of dude. No! Then, no! That's what I'm saying. No. He would be okay with that. Nah. Because I, that's what she wanted. And I just wasn't that type of nigga, so I can't... That's, that's not what she wanted. What she wanted to do was how... It was control. She wanted control yeah. over it. It doesn't... Uh, it's, so, like, I, I remember that... Well, that's going to be difficult to attain for about anybody. <laughs> I, I, uh, I remember I was, I was dating this chick who... She was, like, split up with her husband... And I, when I was doing salsa, back in the days when I was doing salsa, like three years I did salsa. And I remember her, we were, this was before we were, before we were messing around, she, he was still in the house and she wanted to do, she always wanted to learn salsa. And then we, we ended up being partners, just dance partners at first. We became partners later, but, but 
he was like, you're out there dancing, da, 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 right? And then yeah, she was like, salsa. how dare you dance yeah, while you do you, salsa? Right. And then yeah. he was like, she was like, well, I'm going to have to leave because I got to take care of my family and my da, 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 da. And I go, I was like, you got to understand this is not about salsa. This is about control. So she quit salsa and he was like, Oh, so you quit salsa. What happened? Your boyfriend broke up with you. So it, it was just, it just the goalpost moves as it goes. Oh, because so it's, you quit salsa. Manipulative, yeah. manipulative motherfuckers. They're narcissistic little fucks. Because then it goes, then it goes, it becomes you take her with you, Dre, and then then it's you take her with you, and then, oh, why you, why them bitches just telling you you no. <laughs> I learned my lesson with taking women to stuff <laughs> multiple fucking times. Every dude, Jesus Christ, it's like problems must happen. One, I brought a girl to uh, I was dating this chick that was older than me. I was dating the chick that was my manager and shit. She yeah. came to. The, I'm the sorry, your manager trip. in comedy? No, 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 no. no. At the Foot Locker. locker. <laughs> At the Foot Locker. Scene. I was out here pushing oh. sneakers. Like oh. Well, that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andre but, fucked uh, everybody at the Queens Mall. He, he made his there. way from, from the Foot Locker to the Buffalo Wild Wings. He had a good run over there. Nah, nah. American Apparel was a nice place. Got me a little trouble. A little trouble. <laughs> Brought me a cookie. Got a little issue. But um, the people at the Gap saw him coming. They locked the doors. They said, "We can't have it." It's every, everybody's doing well over here. Some of the mannequins look good. Understand <laughs> this. What I was saying is, I forgot. Oh no! You were saying when you brought her around, there was trouble. But I've never, I every never, fucking time, I never had that some much girl, trouble. Some either comedian girl gonna do something goofy, right? Like rub your chest for no fucking reason. Yeah, you get or, that or, a lot. Or, or or um, they they want to hug you for extra long, and it's like that's today not the fucking day to try to do that goof shit. And and then, or, or, that was or a, a waitress. You know, you usually friends with your waitress, a wait staff. They say what's up, and the woman sees it, and now she want to start an issue in the fucking showroom. Hashtag Andre problem. I did, yeah, I did one <laughs> time during, during one of the comedy club Christmas parties. I did witness no. Andre literally judging a big titty contest. These two female comedians, where I saw from across bigger? the room, were shaking their tits like individually, and I go, "What the fuck Just is going juggling on?" Them. I go, "Andre, what's going on?" He goes. Uh, they they wanted to know uh, who I thought uh, whose tits were bigger, and I was Just like, "Nice young ladies playing a game." Okay. <laughs> you man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.